Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Tekken 7 video. In this video, I'll be going over basic Tekken notation for beginners, because in this game, if you can't understand the notation, it makes it very hard to learn and potentially ruin the chance of enjoying this game to its fullest potential. Firstly, we are going to go over the in-game move list notation. A white arrow in any direction is pretty self-explanatory. Tap up, down, left or right. One thing to keep in mind though is that the move list in the game always refers to itself as if you were standing on player one side, e.g. the left side. A black arrow is exactly the same as a white arrow but instead of tapping the button it means to hold it instead. The star literally means neutral. It normally comes in after a directional arrow and means to allow the d-pad or fight stick to return to its original position. To perform it you either let go of the fight stick or lift your fingers off the directional pad for a brief moment. Next we have the brackets. To perform this, press the two buttons within the brackets rapidly in succession. The buttons are pressed almost at the exact same time, only slightly delayed. Some people might also call this drumming. Next we have the four buttons on the right side of your controller, each to represent a limb of your character. Square being left punch, triangle being right punch, X being left kick, and circle being right kick. Notations like these mean you have to press the button at the same time. The red symbol with the man inside with the shield is a power crush. The power crush is a move that allows the user to absorb damage from highs, mids and still continue the attack. Absorption properties only happen after a certain point of the move, not as soon as you use it. Also note that power crushes can be countered by lows and throws. Throws used against power crushes will make it unbreakable. Rage arts have power crush properties but also can absorb lobes. The blue symbol with the circular arrow means the move is a homing move. Homing moves have properties that allow it to hit targets that are sidestepping. The green spiral symbol means the move is a screw, or also known as a tailspin. These kinds of moves cause airborne targets to spin in the air, landing on the ground with their legs pointing upwards, acting as a combo extension. Now we're going to look at written notation. You normally find these in combo videos you might see online. The type I will be going over in this video will be Western Notation. It is useful to know this kind of notation, as players who discover optimized combos or make character guys will most likely use this. Square, left punch, triangle, right punch, X, left kick, circle, right kick are normally referred to as 1, 2, 3, and 4. For directional notation, F is forward, B is back, U is up, D is down. Lowercase refers to tapping these directions, where capitals means to hold. Slashes between these particular letters mean the diagonal directions. We have D slash F for down forward, D slash B for down back, U slash F for up forward, U slash B for up back. FC stands for full crouch, means you have to already be crouching when you input this command. WS stands for while standing. It is a stance players can enter for a small window of time when they are starting from a crouching state and releasing the directional pad or stick to move to a standing state. It is most commonly used to attack after blocking lows. N stands for neutral, which is the star symbol we mentioned earlier. WR stands for while running, a state which can be entered when the player presses forward three times in a row. The closer you are, the more it requires a faster execution. SS stands for sidestep. As Tekken is a 3D game, sidestepping allows players to have more control of space. Tap up or down to perform a sidestep. SSL and SSR refer to sidestep left and sidestep right. These are referring to the character's left and right perspective. So if you're on player one side or player two side, these are swapped over. Another way to think about it is up will always take you to the background and down will always take you to the foreground. Brackets in written notation normally refers to optional commands, like Kazuya's Rage Drive holding up forward lets him turn into devil form. A comma means followed by, mostly used in combo notation. The tilde symbol is the same as the move list brackets, drumming the buttons or pressing them almost at the same time. The plus sign means to press the inputs at the same time. The less than sign means to delay the input. Some strings in Tekken can be delayed, which is great to keep opponents on their toes. The star sign or the degree symbol means to hold the button, normally used on 1, 2, 3, and 4, e.g. shall use while rising 2. CH stands for counter hit. Exclamation mark stands for unblockable. I stands for instant, 
commonly used with IWS or IWR. This concludes my Tekken 7 basic notation for beginners. If you have any suggestions or what you would like to see, make sure to comment down below. Subscribe if you like my videos, and thank you for watching. Yeah.